<laughs> Hello, freak bitches. But that's what VD is. You know, VD is a, a sexual transmitted disease. When you when think I, about someone having VD. When I was about 17, my friend fucked his sister's best friend, and he got <laughs> something. He got VD. He got VD, and we went there the next day, and there was a chick with, like, fucking, like, a Phantom of the Opera mark on her face. <laughs> Dog, it was what? fucking crazy. What was the mark on her face? Like, she... She had like syphilis or something oh that started God. here. Like she had a cut in her lip, and she sucked a fucked up dick or something. <laughs> and it ran. I'll never forget this. I, it's not even funny. It was really sad because I didn't know what she had. I just went there with my friend. My friend goes, "You got to go in there with me, dog. I'm scared to walk in there." Whoa. I said, "Let's go. What's the big deal? They're gonna give you pills, whatever." I didn't know. I wasn't sexually active at that age, like he was. And we went in there while I was waiting for him, dog. This chick came in, did paperwork, and she turned around. And she had gotten something that started here. Like, she, you know, she had like a cut or what's that when you have chapped lips or something? Mm -hmm. And all this was like half purple and red. She sucked something Ooh. bad. <laughs> and after that, I was like, whoo, I got to be careful out there. It's a jungle. That was the thing when we were kids. Like, someone has VD. Ah, she's got VD. Be careful. He's got VD. You know, someone having VD was like, whoa, you hear? Do you hear? Betty got VD. Ooh, that fucking. Girl got VD. <laughs> There's a girl on Facebook STDs. that's friends with me from high school that her pussy wouldn't get wet. <gasps> so they used to call her the dry hump, Fairview, New Jersey. They used to call her Fairview, New Jersey, the dry hump. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 that's so awful. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> So fucked up. This girl was banging. This girl was fucking banging, though. So you'd have to like bring Vaseline or something. Yeah, she was from Wayne, New Jersey, and she was banging. She moved to North Bergen, like, and she was a sophomore, and she was dating a few guys and shit. And things happened. Like I was friends with her. I knew she didn't like me. Like she, she just didn't like me for some reason. I didn't think the world of her either. <laughs> and one night in '84, I'm at a bar, and this bitch comes in. I mean, banging, banging, banging. They also said she had some type of VD, so they called her Laurie Jack. You know, like, she's got the Jack. Remember, <laughs> no, what remember is that? ACDC sang a song? Oh. She's got the Jack. Jack, Jack. So they used to call her name and Jack. Like, that was her name. Like, they, they just tormented this girl. Oh. And she dated, like, a rocky, like, a rock guy that had, like, long hair and a rocker. shit. rocker. And one night I saw her. And rocky. She, <laughs> and she was banging Joe Rogan, right? Yeah. Banging. And I go, you live in North Bergen? And she's like, yeah, I didn't go to college. I, I'm a, I'm a nanny. I'm a nanny, and she told me the guy's name. And I knew that guy. That guy had a massage parlor years earlier, the guy that she was being a nanny for. And I go, I go, if she's his nanny, he's just fucking her. Something's got to be wrong. She looked so good in that miniskirt. She disappeared like 1.30. And finally at like 3, I'm sitting, and I'm like, what am I going to do tonight? And I had like a bag of Coke. I go, fuck it. I'm going to go get her. <laughs> So I went, to, this is how crazy I was. I went to the dude's house, who she told me. I knocked on the door, it was 3.15 in the morning. <gasps> and he's no. like, Coco, what are you doing? And I go, I gotta talk to Lori. There's something missing. He goes, hold on, Lori? And she came down and she comes outside. He's got a robe on, she's got a robe on. And I look her straight in the face, I go, listen, I got like two eight balls in my pocket, get dressed, let's get the fuck out of here. And she's like, I can't, and I go, you have to. And we, we, we argued there for like 10 minutes. I'm like, I want to suck your pussy. I want to do dirty things oh, to you. Jesus. I don't give a fuck about the VD or the Jack or the dry hump. I'm on fire. And she's like, well, give me 10 minutes. And I, I don't, how am I going to sneak out of here? I don't know. So I waited outside for her. She's like, I'll put Lou in bed and I'll run out. About 15 minutes later, I see her running out with her purse with like a bank deposit bag. <laughs> she's like, fuck him. I can't take him anymore. Fuck him. We were on foot. It's 4 30 in the morning. <laughs> I'm on Tunley Avenue in North Bergen. There's a bunch of those dirty hotels. So I'm like, oh, I got a score here. I got Coke. She's got money. I'm going to fuck her. I'm excited. We go back to a hotel. We finally registered. It's like $30. They asked us if we wanted the, the jacuzzi in the room and shit. It was one of those dirty hotels on Tunley as you go into New York City. We went in there. We walk in and she goes, rule number one, you are not going to fuck me. It's five in the morning. There goes my fucking. There goes this night. And all of a sudden she looks at me. She goes, well, if you could guess the color of my panties, I'll fuck you. And I'm like, okay. Red. And she goes, they're green, but good enough. 
We started snorting coke, <laughs> eating ass. I mean, it was filthy. <laughs> I woke up at 5 in the afternoon, and Doug Flutie was throwing that quarterback, that touchdown. In 1984, or 83, Doug Flutie, I was waking up. She was naked, ripped apart. I'm waking up, and Doug Flutie's throwing the touchdown. I got dressed and got the fuck out of there and never saw her again. Never said to her. I even robbed the money. I took everything. She pops up on Facebook about two years ago, and I'm like, Lori, how are you? She's like, fuck you, you fat faggot and all this shit. She's like, you left me there that night, but we had a good time. Fuck yeah, we had a good time. <sighs> and I we hit her back. I go, what color are your panties? Uh, and she goes, what's that supposed to mean? It's oh, fucking that's tremendous. Hilarious. That's I knew she hilarious. gave me something. She had something. <laughs> But I didn't give a fuck. It was 84, Rock Hudson was dying. I didn't use a condom. I knew the consequences. Oh. I'm like, fuck it. So I knew I was going to get something, and I probably did. I got crabs after that over the holidays. That, you know, like that was 84. I got crabs in the yeah, 84, 85 season. I got crabs. I found out at the bathroom in Port Authority. I went to Port Authority to take a shit, and I pulled my pants down, and I'm sitting there reading the paper, and I see a crab. Like, I saw something jump, and I'm like, what the fuck? And I'd never heard it. I'd never heard it. Nothing. I went home and took my underwear off and got, like, a magnifying glass. It was over. It was all over me. They were all over the couch. I had oh. to bring a bomb into the room, like one of those fucking bug bombs, and leave for 12 hours. <laughs> Did you really? Oh, I grabbed up the whole you? fucking thing. <laughs> it was crabbed up for, like, oh. a month, though. Oh my God! The lady next door knocked on my thing. I was living in Tenafly, New Jersey. The lady next door knocks. Do you have a bug problem? I'm like, no, no. I don't she know what happened. Ever since you moved in here, there's been crabs and shit. Oh no. Oh. <laughs>